So, question. Is your Christianity a faithful one? Faithful Christians? Faithful Christianity? Are we practicing it? If the government of one nation is taking extreme measures in an effort to control this virus and they are using all these things in an effort to ensure that it doesn't go around what is a Christian supposed to do? Are you a faithful Christian? Is your Christianity faithful to God? What will you do? Of course, at the beginning, we're all thinking, oh, no, it may be this, it may be that, and all of that. If people are afraid to die or to, uh, to get the virus, and so they are quarantined themselves, they are doing all these things in, in an effort to ensure that they don't get contaminated. Everybody is afraid. But the Christian is not supposed to be afraid because when you have the peace of God, when you have the protection of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, this is not supposed to be anything. You just look at it. Look at the Israelites. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ covered them. Even though it was the blood of a goat and a lamb that they had on their doors in Egypt, they were covered. So if Christ is our Passover lamb, what should we be doing? So, if we were to be forced to go through this same process here, what would Christians do? Remember what we listed for the uh, people in Denmark? It was passed. It's a law that has been passed. And they are passing it. Uh, it passed just this month, uh, March. And they say it will be in effect until 2021. The question is, what they also said, what was, I don't know if it is 100% true, but they said, uh, but the first item they listed was false isolation and treatment, which means they are going to force you to be vaccinated. You have to have it. And they also said, someone also mentioned that they put something because in other places, even in China, last time we, we saw it, they get your temperature before you enter the building apartments they want to make sure that you have so is that not the sign of the antichrist the lord told us it's there in revelation 13 that you are going to get a mark on your forehead or on your arm right arm or uh, right side in any part any part of your body and it is also suggested that maybe they put a chip on your head, on your forehead, on your hand, so that before you go any place, it will monitor your temperature. If it is more than what they thought, then you can go in. So the question is that is your Christianity faithful to God? What are you going to do? Let's read what Christ uh, revealed to us through the Apostle John when he gave him the revelation. So we've read, but we didn't finish uh, Revelation 14. We stop at 10, but uh, let's go to Revelation 13. And see what is written there. Again, when you talk about beasts and image of the beast, it's all about uh, somebody, a king, a president, a pope, a prime minister. And look at what is happening now. With what is happening, the U.S. banned flights. So you cannot go anywhere unless you have that uh, authority. Revelation 13 And it says, all right, uh, we'll start from verse, 
Okay, let's start from verse 14. Because sometimes things happen and uh, it's like a, a trap. And the Lord Jesus Christ used a, a, a snare. It will be a snare. Revelation 13, 14 and following says, And deceived them that dwell, that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had powers to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beasts which had the wound by sword, and did live. Again, when you talk about beasts and image and all this, and don't think of it that it's, oh, it's just a, a bear, a lion. It's all about someone. They're talking about, you know, somebody of very great importance, an influential person. It could be any president. 15 says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right, so here we're talking about beast, beast, but all that is being said is that a president, a prime minister, a pope, or someone will make a law and make everybody to obey it, and another person will come and say, yes, what uh, this uh, person of influence or uh, a president, prime minister, whatever has said, and everybody should obey it. And if you don't obey it, you are going to be killed. So again, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast and should be killed. You know, so here you would think that uh, it's talking about uh, because the image was able all about this person. All right. So and 16, and he caused this is the great uh, question that Christians should be asking nowadays, and he caused bo all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Again, what is being discussed here or what is being prophesied here. Because of the situation around the world now, the virus and uh, uh, you know, a pandemic or whatever it's uh, called, people are being controlled. The government is controlling everyone. You cannot fly here. You cannot fly anywhere. Everything is being controlled. And the question is that, how faithful will your Christianity be? Faithful Christians? Faithful Christianity to God? Or to yourself? Or to your government? Or to your uh, family? This is saying he caused it all, both small and great. Look at what was passed in uh, uh, Denmark. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. You have to have something. You have to be controlled. You have to be part of uh, the people who already have been given the approval. It's like an approval. If you don't have the approval, you can go anywhere. You can travel. And this is what the scripture is saying. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had a mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, already, our cards, they know it. Our number, phone number, they know it. The government knows it. That's why the president can call anybody at any time in any uh, situation. And not only here, in all parts of the world, the government has all the numbers of everyone. So if a law has been passed in Denmark, what are the others doing? In some places, they are forcing them. They are forcing them. So the question is that, what should we do? 
would you allow yourself to be vaccinated so that you can go to the grocery store? Would you allow yourself to be vaccinated with the virus because of the virus you want? So, okay, I have to go and start. I have to go to school, so I want to, be I want to travel. So they said, okay, you have to be vaccinated. Would you do that? That is a question for Christians.